Hello everybody, welcome back to Loop Hero. I've done a few runs in the interim. And now I'm going to build a supply depot. Is this the best thing for me to be building? Like, I don't know. I don't know, but we're going to build it anyway. This seems like a good spot. I truly don't know. Good news, we've come up with a list of some things we need. I won't say that they're all absolutely necessary, but they would make our lives a little bit better. We can't keep eating from the ground while the food is also the ground, and then we go to sleep on the same, you know, ground. I'm exaggerating, of course, I just want you to get the idea. If you stumble upon a good piece of furniture or an instrument or anything else of use, uh, remember to place, remember the place and take a wagon there, and we'll see that your findings go to the right, take a wagon there? Supply? Craft? What are we supplying and crafting? Oh no! Okay, I could turn this food into something, but I don't know what it turns into. Uh, we'll wait a moment for that, because we don't have very many metamorphoses. Uh, we can build another thing. We can make mud huts. This is only one person. Every resident brings you closer to victory. Build more houses. I need a lot more metal for the smelter. I was hoping I would be able to build that, but I guess not. And I only have enough, I only have enough wood for one more thing. Let's just build the cemetery. We'll build it like out, out, out here in the back, I guess. Oh, he's creepy. Thank you. It's a nice place. Calm. There are some people, but quiet ones. They look a bit grim, but they can tell you many things if you can listen. Okay, cool. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and craft our mega food. See what this does. It's cheese? A type of food that's tasty and can be conveniently stored for a long time. Don't be sad if you don't have a glass of wine to go with it. The cheese is quite tasty on its own. Plus one HP after killing an enemy. Do I take that with me? Okay, I got ruins. Gives a random basic resource shard upon visit. Spawns a scorch worm every two days. I need to bring the cemetery back. Let's get rid of the chrono crystals. So yeah, we'll see how this works out for us. Eventually, I gotta get more of these. I don't know. I don't know what I gotta unlock for that. We're gonna continue trying to play the rogue, although the rogue feels, in a lot of ways, much harder than the warrior. But you know what? Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. It's the wisdom of the ages. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You could turn that into a rap of sorts. So I have seen a little bit of gameplay, or I've watched a few other people play this game a little bit, and I've heard... I've heard talk of just, like, people not even using rocks, ever. Just, like, placing mountains and just mountains. And I think that might be a good idea. However, we can turn the rocks into a peak, and I think that's probably kind of what we want to do here. I think I messed up a little bit. I should have put the road lantern there. Instead, I could put one here and here. That'll be fine. Uh, let's put a battlefield... Put a battlefield here. I think maybe we place just enough rocks to get a mountain out of it. Otherwise, we let our rocks rot. And if this isn't enough to turn into a mountain peak, then I'm going to be a little upset. <laughs> I do need to be careful about how I use my loot, though. Like, don't... Don't equip things that aren't super important, I guess, because we do kind of want to... We kind of want to hold on to the possibility of getting more metal. Because we need all this, all the metal scraps we can get. I got a smoked ham! Heals 5 HP at the start of each day. Heck yeah. Oh, this is going to hurt. A lot. I don't know if I thought this through very well. Alright, just keep evading. Keep evading. I have 14%. It's not enough. Crap. Let's go. Let's go. Are we surviving? He hit me! I have no potions left. Period. No. No. Evade! Okay, I got the heal. I got a sturdy stool, but I died! I kept, like, nothing. So bad, and I lose my sturdy stool. What a terrible run. Let's try that again. Yeah, I went a little too hard on Vamp Town too early, so uh, that's my fault. I am beginning to think that battlefields aren't really something that I want to have. 
It, it doesn't seem super useful. It's not for the rogue, at least. The treasure chests, they give me a little bit of wood. I don't know, though. The wood on its own could be good. So what's my plan on this day? Let's see. We're gonna try to get this vamp town like up and running sooner rather than later. Uh, putting the cemetery right next to the vampire mansion was probably a bit of a mistake. But that's just a thing that I'm gonna have to deal with uh, from now on, <laughs> unfortunately. Put that down. I'm gonna try and build a mountain peak up here. I have the meadows right next to it already, just so we can go ahead and start grabbing the uh, extra daily heals. Because that turns out to be very important. You don't get a lot of meadows early on, then you might end up getting a little bit screwed. Spiders, like, they're almost always a good time as far as loot goes. Get a lot of cards. I get a lot of goodies. It's just a good time all around. Ooh, level up. What do we got? New set of three traits. 10% um, chance to simultaneously attack two targets. That seems really good. 50% chance to steal a resource shard from an enemy while countering. I don't know if I want to focus on counter. I want to focus on evasion more than anything. So let's go master fencing. 10% is kind of low, but at the same time, it's kind of dope. From now on, we let rocks rot. Rocks can be turned into memory fragments. We don't need them. We don't want them. They can go away. I do need to start building out whatever's over here, so... I do plan on fighting the bus! There's gonna be a we There's gonna be a... We're gonna be fighting a bus! Do I dare put another vampire mansion down? Uh, let's do it. Quest failed. Look, I know what I'm getting myself into. Is this going to be another failure? You know, maybe. Ooh, but that one cleaned up. So one's good, one's bad now. Look, look. Plans have worked out. Oh, I completely forgot I got loot. They're all counter boots? Are you kidding me? <laughs> kind of a lot of crap. But I think maybe losing 8% attack speed for way more damage. We'll, we'll take that trade. Like, I have five defense right now. That doesn't seem like a lot. And frankly, it's not. But it is helping out. I think that's like a base of five damage that I uh, ignore every time that somebody something actually hits me. It's the kind of thing that'll add up over time. Okay, this is what I wanted. We'll put a grove here. And then we'll stick a blood grove right next to it. Yo, I will lose 100 max HP for increased evasion bonus. That seems pretty good to me. Okay, we still got a decent amount of time before our uh, big boss boy comes poking his ugly little head out. This is shaping up to be a bit of a dangerous loop, though, so let's hope things work out in our favor. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, look at this upgrade. What is that? 25 evasion on this boot alone? And then 13 crit chance? That's probably the best boot that I'll ever find. Oh, that's not crit chance, that's crit damage. Never mind. It's still very good. Okay, this is going to be the most dangerous loop of all. It's survival. Oh, a sturdy stool. What does this do? Plus 20... Or plus 0.2 HP regeneration per second if you already have it. Well, I don't, so, uh... Look, I need you to evade more reliably, please. I can't afford to take all of these hits. Dude, this is so bad. Stop evading my hits! I can't afford this! What the hell? What is your evasion rate? You're not telling me? Unbelievable. I'm dead. There's no way I'm getting through even like this slime. Okay, I got through the slime. There's no way I'm getting through this fight though. This is... All right, change the deck around a little bit. Hopefully to be a little bit better for the rogue. I am like, I can't believe that I just, I can't make this work. Like, I haven't even defeated the first boss yet and that's becoming a source of frustration for me. So my line of reasoning goes like this. The rogue 
Uh, so, so the warrior was good at taking tanking a lot of smaller enemies that hit less hard because he had a lot of defense and a lot of regeneration so those two things could help you like survive indefinitely but the rogue he doesn't have that defense or that regeneration and he can't stack vampirism the same way like the healing potential is just way lower so what do you what you got to do is you got to take that into account and uh, instead of tank, instead of like building a lot of uh, fast hitting, what am I trying to say? Instead of building a lot of fast hitting, dangerous, uh, less dangerous creatures that can swarm you, like the spiders and wolves, instead of building a situation like that, what you gotta do is you gotta build the opposite situation. Stronger enemies, <clears throat> but less... Stronger enemies that attack slower, that are less likely to swarm you. That way, your evasion can put in a lot of work, assuming you get the opportunity to build it. Alright, what does a Scorch Worm... I got two of them? That's not good. Archer. Takes part in battles on adjacent tiles. Uh-oh. Uh... Hold... Wait. Ranged combat, third row, 30, minus 30% 30 damage in second row, minus 60% damage in first row. Uh, interesting enemies. So the Scorchworms seem more dangerous if you put them next to other enemies. Uh-oh, that's bad. <laughs> we might have to remove that. A rat wolf comes to your aid. Dude, let's go. I'm pretty sure that's like the best option just because it can tank hits for you. These are such dangerous fights, dude. I'm glad that they don't stick around. But this one encounter has taken more than half my health in two of my potions. Ouch. Bro. Dude! You just absolutely destroyed my wolf! How rude. Oh, this is insanity. What is happening right now? What the f- What? What? What is happening? Holy crap! That was disgusting! Goblin camps are the worst! I'm so upset by that. That was like the worst thing that could have ever possibly happened. So upsetting. Oh, I think building a mountain peak out of just mountains is probably stronger. Because the mountain peak, if I remember correctly, does have power based on... Uh... I don't want a road lantern there. It does have power based on... What you give it. So yeah, rocks can go rock themselves. Heh. <laughs> Got him. I am still in absolute disbelief over how quickly that last one went wrong. That was... That was nuts, man. That was absolutely nuts. It's a mimic! No! Ow! Got some ruins out of it, though. And I got an axe. Every time the hero receives stable branches, he has a 10% of receiving more. Dude. Good stuff. Okay, spears counter. Ooh, good evasion bonus. Let's dump that on. We got some 616 now. I could just, like... <laughs> Double spear. Now my counter chance is going crazy. 30%. Imagine if I had something like, uh, every time you counter, you have a chance to evade. Wait, that doesn't make sense. But like, counter against these swarms, it's pretty strong. That wasn't a very good fight, though. And that scarecrow spawned at a very bad time. 
could be dangerous. Let's hope it's not. <clears throat> oh, level up. What do we got? 3 HP after a kill. 10% of lost HP gives you a half chance to instantly deal 1,000 damage. Or, yeah, simultaneously attack two targets. I still really like that. We got that as well, which I also really like. Which means I can start placing more stuff down. I could use another village, though. Still waiting on that to pop up. Twenty percent attack speed is a lot. Everything else sucks, though. What the hell? I think I have to upgrade this just for the massive increase in base HP, which of course makes the healing potions better. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> this is just as good. It's terrible. <laughs> We'll get rid of one of the spears, which unfortunately makes us lose counter, but base damage goes up. It makes us a happy camper. Yo, you're going away immediately. Last time I had goblins, I had a bad time. Did I get my spear back? Kind of. There's no point in me getting rid of that level six thing. Yeah. I I think we're good with this. <clears throat> no evadey, please. No evasions. Really would have liked this to uh, be cleared out on this loop, but I don't think it's... It obviously didn't happen. Um, but on the next loop, it's going to be a real village. And that's going to be pretty good. Yo, I'm screwed again. Why? Oh, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Every two days, so let's put it there. We don't want them to be literally next to each other. Yeah, I was already past that. Thing. Please survive, please survive. Just a couple of rat wolves, no problem. Evade their attacks, and you'll be fine. 21 damage? 17 damage? I said evade! Dude, imagine if that was a mimic. Oh, simultaneous attacks! Level 8 boots! Oh my god! Got defense damaged all? Evasion bonus? Oh. The rest of everything else is hella garbo trash, but man. Everything's terrible. <laughs> but the boots by themselves, those might save my life. I don't know, we'll see how these scarecrows treat me. Those could be dangerous. God. Put it in front. Immediately trash that. Don't want it. Dude, the simultaneous attack, when it happens, it is such a lifesaver. Should have waited to put that down. Oh, freaking heck, dude. So these quest monsters, they're going to be scary. Here, what I would like from you is A, more crits, B, more meadows, C, more villages. 
<clears throat> D. Better freaking loot. Another grove? No, not yet. Oh, level up. What do we got? What do we got? Full hand of oblivion cards? Oh. 7% less damage for every enemy, starting after the second enemy. For passing adjacent. I don't have many adjacents. Not since I got rid of spiders. I think... I think I take Blissful Ignorance. What do I do with this? <laughs> um... <clears throat> I don't... know if this was the correct choice, to be honest. Because at this point... I'm so close to my camp. My camp is gonna heal me up. So the danger is... Almost completely mitigated. But what I can do... Is like... Place a rock down... And then... Oblivion it. That gives me a little bit of a heal. Gives me a little bit of resources. I would like to vamp mansion that, but I'm gonna get a quest reward from it. Ooh. That's what you want to see. Place rock. Oblivion. Card sharp? Place a thousand cards? Have I played that game this much and still not beaten the first boss? Yes. The answer is yes. Finally, some decent stuff. Evasion bonus on my sword? Don't mind if I do. And then attack speed 20%. Not bad. And then attack speed on my armor piece. I lose a little bit of max HP, but our attack speed is like going through the roof now. Evasion is at 35%. I don't know, this might be the one. Still very RNG dependent, don't get me wrong. But the possibilities... They are endless. It's definitely gonna be hard for the Scarecrows at the rate that they spawn. It's definitely going to be hard for them to build up any meaningful presence. Okay, we're at max potions. I feel comfortable doing this now. Oh boy. Meadow there. And Oblivion it. It's literally worse. It's too bad. Double Skeleton. Uh, apparently not a problem. Okay, things... I'm feeling confident now. The confidence is going. It's moving. The attack speed that I have is doing some work. Like if I do if I do good rolls, I can kill a skeleton before he even gets a chance to do anything to me. Which is a very, very solid situation to, to be in. Now if only I could level up again and get like the fox wolf thing. The the rat wolf as a as a buddy, as a pal, as a friend. Like this is the best loop that we've had in a long time. It took us a while to get here, but we made it. Like a one-third chance. To, uh, to dodge everything. That's just, it's too good. Yet another treasury, huh? And if I can take this opportunity to get a lot of wood as well, I would be very, very happy. Alright, let's go ahead and... Get this... Oh no, I lost an Oblivion. Do 
Do I dare gain another ruins? <clears throat> I don't, they're good resources, but they're pretty scary on their own. This has been a very low village run. It's weird. Dude. Sick evasion bonus, bro. Crit damage chance 19. I lose some attack speed, but that's very worth it. I don't think it's worth losing that much attack speed. Losing the counter is going to suck. Okay, no counter left. Crit damage, pretty high though. Evasion's now at 40. I'd like to see you do anything to me now. <laughs> More cemeteries. <laughs> Confidence is at an all-time high, baby. What a terrible time for a new day. That wasn't a very good fight. Obviously, we're still in some danger, um, but that was that was a good example of why I I rebuilt this deck around um, stronger single enemies. Like you can see, having those swarms is very dangerous for me. Yeah, let's place the mountain down. <clears throat> I need more meadows, please. Uh, I've had a surprising lack of meadows in this run. Surprising lack of meadows and villages. Dude, it's a village. What is this? Kitchen knife. Plus 1% base HP for every food item placed in your camp. Well, I think I have a cheese. So, I mean, we got a plus 1%, right? Let's go ahead and cap off this chain of treasuries. I don't think we're going to get any more. And even if we do, uh, I don't think it's worth trying to build it out. <laughs> Get a lot of these worms. As we've realized, though, they're not that scary on their own. I I ain't worried about it. A little worried about this, though. Goblin camp? Get out of here. None of that. <sighs> Please. So the handful of Oblivion cards, I, I, I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about it, but it did... Actually, I don't know if it did help me save my life on this run. It definitely helped me cap off my HP, but I, I was, like, I was looking... I was looking pretty good by the time uh, we got that. Alright, we're gonna have a bit of a dangerous fight coming up here. Check this out. This is gonna be four... Um, first off, though, Here, continue capping these. Smoke screen, nothing is sacred. Second thoughts. Plus three HP after a kill when your max is at 1067. I don't know. Doesn't seem very good. Whoa, hold up. That's not great. I can't even attack them. That is pretty dangerous. Wow. More ruins. I don't think we're putting them down, though. Bandit camp. Do I remove it now? Dude, I don't like the bandits. They, they just spook me. Say no. Say no to bandits. I really gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, I made it back. <clears throat> All right, where was I? More wheat fields. I'm running low on Oblivion cards, so my ability to farm these 
is uh, dropping. Dude! Crit chance up, damage to all. Dude, let's do it. Level 12 armor. That attack speed is insanity. We only lose a little bit of attack speed, but we gain a good amount of damage by doing that. That is insanity for the attack speed. We lose a lot of crit. But the attack speed is too good. Let's go. We're not getting rid of the evasion bonus. Don't even think about getting rid of the evasion bonus. I'm realizing a grave mistake that I've made in not having enough, like, side things. Because I've really got to find a way to fill these up. A vampire Mansion could work, I guess. But it would, it would add a vampire to the fight. Not really what I want. <clears throat> This is still not popped. Interesting. Sturdy stool. Let's go. Dude, I'm feeling good about this run now. Look at this. Look at this go. Look at it go. One hundred and fifty-one damage. Didn't even matter. Okay, it might it might have mattered a little bit. Definitely taking some damage. That was dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, we'll heal everything up on uh, as we go through these villages. Oh? Uh, no. Yeah, no. No. Oh, no, my final Oblivion card has been yeeted. I might just have to put a Vampire Mansion down. I hate to do it. I really do. I get three attacks on a skeleton before he can even do one thing. What a dummy. Look at me go. I'm a skeleton killing machine. Alright, this uh this might this might be some danger territory that we're going into here. I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um but like these harpies being backed up by uh, other other dudes. Oof. Kinda spooky. I don't have an Oblivion anymore. Crap. No, they're Gargoyles. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, Road Lantern! That's what I wanted to see. Ah, <coughs> uh, yeah, let's go ahead and cap this off. Anything good here? Not really. Ooh, why is this fight so dangerous? What's happening? Ow. It's a mimic! No! Oblivion. Die. I wonder what happens if I get rid of one of these. Could you just farm it in infinitely? I doubt it. Oh, this is interesting, huh? This definitely gets to replace the mace. I can't lose the evasion bonus on that thing. So we gain... We... We lose damage to all, which frankly isn't going to be that important at this stage. We gain counter, which is huge. We gain defense, which is pretty big. What about this? Evasion bonus. So we lose evasion overall, but we gain defense. I think that might be worth it. We lose crit damage chance, but gain damage to all. 
No, damage to all is the same. 11 defense could be huge. All. I don't know if I want to lose all my crit chance, though. God, that's a tough call. I'm just going to say no to that for now. Yeah, we lose two evasion. And crit. Man. Why are you making me make hard choices? Ah, screw it. We'll put it on. I'm probably going to regret losing all that crit. We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Right now, though, the only thing that I know for sure is that I can't trigger the boss until I get something to get rid of whatever's going to be over here. I can't, I can't let him stack up that, like, bonus damage, you know? Man, not being able to crit reliably sucks. What does it mean when these are orange? Does it just mean I can't carry anymore? Ruins, not what you want. Okay, we leveled up again. <clears throat> Lowers the quantity of item. No, that's not good. Lethal weakness, every 10% of lost HP gives you a half percent chance to instantly deal a thousand damage. That could be... Uh, Really powerful against the boss. I'll take it, but the chance that it actually does anything is very low. That fact is not lost on me. Come on, man. Give me something. Give me an oblivion. Give me a road lantern. Give me something to put there. Absolutely nothing, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. Evasion bonus plus counter plus attack speed plus being four levels higher. Wow. And then I could put this on, which is like exactly the same. Oh, no crit chance. Oh, this has evasion. No, wait. It's just a lower level. We don't want that. This one's a slightly lower level, which means slightly lower damage. We lose defense, but we gain counter. We gain more evasion. No, 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 no. We don't gain counter. We lose a little bit of counter. We lose defense. We gain more evasion. And more crit damage. Evasion at 58%. Good luck killing me now, bucko. It's the oblivion that I've always wanted. Here, let's put a village right there. Um, what are we going to do with our last things? Uh, we can wait. We can see what happens. And then we can trigger the boss just before we reach him. It's probably the best option. But it's probably just going to be me placing down a couple more meadows. I would like to have some mountains to put down. Like, I'm pretty much capped on materials, so there's not much point in me sticking around, but getting more, like, rocks and pebbles and stuff could be pretty good. 
Dude, I'm gonna be so upset if I still lose at this junction. Like, my evasion is through the roof. My damage is unfortunately not that great. But it's consistent, if nothing else. But like, the evasion alone should... It should give it a, give me there, right? Oh, it's a road lantern. Which means Haha! -ha! No extra stuff for you, dummy. Oh, I'm full on rocks. So, okay. We can still have more metamorphosis. That was just for the heal. Alright, let's go. Put a grove down. Why did I do that? I mean, I can't get any more wood. It's no big thing. Alright, I'm full on potions. Pretty high on HP. I think by the time I get myself back to the, uh... To the boss. We should be pretty good. I, the camp still functions as a camp, if I remember correctly. Okay, here we go. A moment of truth. It doesn't function as a camp. I remember, remembered incorrectly. The lack of crit is unfortunate. But look, the evasion through the roof. 230 damage? I don't care. 207 damage? I care a little bit. You hit me three times in a row. Statistically, that sucks. But look, more evasions coming out, and we finally got the kill. What is this? Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. Now put everything back like it was before. I can't. I've already completed my task, even if the result is not perfect. You are no no position reviews, you sack of bones. He already received everything I could gather. I just wanted to see how our crusade against the universe would end, to witness what would come of it. My presence is no longer required. Who is he? I get it. You're connected somehow, right? That's why. You will find out soon enough. This anomaly will not escape his attention. Now my explanations would be meaningless to you. So spare me your wheezing and just die. If that sack of bones was telling the truth, I have a long journey ahead. I will build my whole world from scratch if I have to, and the skull of that monster will be the first brick in its foundation. Choose one reward? Time flies 15% faster? 5% chance for a chest to spawn on top of a killed enemy? Resource cap in the expedition is increased by 50%. Dude. We'll go for deep pockets. I could stay. Your journey doesn't have to end. You can retreat to the camp with all your findings. I ain't gonna do that. I'm retreating. Or, I'm not sticking around. Orb of Immortality. Usually death is unstable. This orb makes it st stably non-existent for a few seconds. That is usually enough to avoid this gruesome fate. Everybody listen! The lich is dead, the curse has been lifted, but... What lich and what curse? I believe you, of course, but I have no idea what you're talking about. You don't remember the dead sorcerer? The one in a fur coat holding a scepter, all surrounded in star nebulas, floating above the world and on his shining wings and eating it piece by piece? That's strange. Everything looks the same around here. Why? I guess he's not the only reason for this darkness, then. Hmm, the skeleton has mentioned him, whoever... Uh, he is. He must be something to do with the obliteration of the world. It seems that I have no other option but to continue my expeditions. Bro. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and build some stuff. <laughs> Smelter. Uh, unable to be built. What is this that it needs? Ooh, supplies. Oh, I needed to equip the food. I see. One per plus 1% base HP for every food item placed in your camp. 
Oh, okay, so we're like equipping things. I could see the active effects. Plus one HP after killing an enemy. Dude, that, this stuff is going to help so much. Oh, and I think just having it doesn't really do anything for you. Like, when you find it in the world, it doesn't do anything until you like can actually come and equip it. Okay, so let's build. Unlocks new class Necromancer. Unlocks the Ancestral Crypt Golden Card if the Intel Center is built, which I cannot. I would like to build that, but I can't. I have plenty of food supplies. Alright, I guess let's build the crypt, man. Or... Can I upgrade... <clears throat> the cemetery? Absolutely not. Everything is so expensive. Okay, let's build that crypt. Oh, you're interested too, eh? Not everyone appreciates it. Not everyone understands. People can serve you not only with their voices, but with bones, swords, bows. And they are not evil if you don't fear them. You're right, I only need to raise a hand and... Uh, wait, I've never done anything like this before. If... If I remember correctly, the craft teaches itself, often through books, or words, or walls and stones, in your case. It's an unusual way. What a creepy individual. I have the Necromancer class now. Unfortunately, we can build nothing else. But next time, I will be able to build other things. This might be the last episode, unless this series pops off for some unforeseen reason. But considering how long it's probably going to take for these episodes to be released, I don't expect that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, small and fleeting as it may have been, I will definitely be playing this more in my spare time. But I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye